Okay, so we have our pumpkin open here. I'm going to take this reference of this. Let's find a different pumpkin to draw because I'm feeling saucy. Let's go do... Hmm. I like this pumpkin. It's really simple and it looks like it'll be easier to draw. You want to draw this pumpkin? Here's the image. So I'm going to go into, so make sure that you're clicking on the, double clicking the green, the green layer. And then we're going to double click this green layer to paint. The green layer, see green, double click it. We all have it open? Oh. What you should be saving is your uh, B button and, and making it slightly bigger, making it a lot bigger. Grabbing like one of our neutral colors, our, our mid tones. So I'm hitting Alt key and I'm clicking the color that I want to use. And I'm going to make a base. So I'm going to go, oh, and then after I click the color, I'm going to click on, let's start at 20%. I feel like it's a little bit more contrasty. And make sure you're clicking where it says paint here. So let's just go over it. You might not see it initially and that's okay. We need to move this to the bottom. Maybe change the opacity down a little bit so we can see our color. Oops, I have a hole in the middle. That's okay. We can always fill in that hole, but I'd suggest not. Um, so we're going to go in, we're going to make our moon. Let me see what this layer looked like again. Our moon is going to go on this side of the screen. And it's going to go like, it's going to be like a big swooshing sound. So I'm going to go in. Let's make our brush a little bit bigger. Make sure we're clicking on the paint here. And we're gonna go swoosh. And yes, we made it a little bit bigger than our image, but I'm gonna click E and erase that portion because I made a quick mistake. You with me still? And now I'm going to uh, to maybe even alt click here. Let's go back to our brush, click B. Let's um, hit a uh, darker tone and we're gonna go, we're gonna switch it just a little bit in. And then we're gonna go E and erase the excess um, pumpkin, the excess paint. Clean it up a little bit. If we want to, we can also change the opacity of our eraser. We can get rid of some of that gunk. Okay, so let's see what it looks like so far. It doesn't look like anything special, but we're still going. Let's increase our opacity for our image again. So we know we have this yellow highlight here. So we're gonna go in and we're going to alt click our, our brightest highlight. And we're gonna go whoop, just block in that color. Don't make it too dark. I mean, this is my base. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go maybe to a darker shade. I'm going to mix all my colors together. What this, what this might need is a, a, another shade of orange. There we go. That looks pretty good. That looks like a pretty good base. And now I'm going to go in. 
And I'm going to start with my shadows. So I know that our shadows over here are darker than the shadows over here. So I'm going to start with those shadows first and start making our texture. Make our brush a little smaller. And I know we have a dark shadow over here, but we can start with maybe something a little lighter. So we can build it up just a little bit off the pumpkin. Let me make a different layer so you can see what I'm doing. Uh, I'm using a big, a uh, slightly big brush, like maybe 300. I'm going in and let's make this one a little smaller. So we're going to start over. So we're going to go big over here, layer that one in, let's see how that looks. Looks good. Going over in here. Slightly layer that one up. If you probably should cut and paste and put your answer on this one. Yes, Start with that. that. Layer it up with the texture. Yeah, after all of that, we figured out how to do it. So I would probably put my answer on um, this. Let's see. Instead of all that cut and paste. Do a little bit of texture right here. Let's do that and see how it looks. Okay, it's starting to get there. Let's clean that up just a little bit. Okay, so those look a little dark. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over it with another with another shade of my slightly mid-tone to bring out the oranges because it looks too dark for me. So I'm going to go over it. Oops. Kind of a little like kind of just for this side. Let's see how that looks. Maybe that's a too dark. So my shadows look like those are what my shadows look like. So my pumpkin looks like. Time to go in actually with the highlights. So let's look at our pumpkin. So we know we have highlights right here. The highlights are slightly smaller. So we're gonna go in with a we're gonna go in with a big brush for the highlights over here and really dot this highlight. Make, and we're going to go with a slightly softer brush. So what I'm doing is I'm lowering the hardness of my brush. I'm going to go in, get my brush kind of big, and just like, um, let's create another layer so we can see our highlights being made. And I am going to go in and just um, hmm, I don't like that brush, even softer. We're just going to dot that up. Let's see how that looks. That looks kind of cool. And we're going to go in, maybe a little bit harder, and, and hit it right there. Let's see how that looks. That looks kind of good. Like wild tigers. So I'm going to go in, maybe clean that up a little bit with the eraser by clicking E. Clean that up. That's looking kind of funky. Doesn't have to look perfect. But it does need a highlight and it does need a shadow. So I'm going to go in with a harder brush. So make sure that brush hardness is up. And I am going to go in and really, um, let's, let's hide this layer and this layer so I can really see what I'm doing on my highlights. So really like dancing the highlight there. Maybe even like slightly inner, so I start up high, 
and I go in, you can kind of see it by looking at it like that. And I'm going to go over here so it's to the right of my shadow. So I'm going to start up high, go down, down. We got to make these a little bit brighter than those. So let's go over them a little bit more. Go over these a lot more. Bring the opacity down to maybe a 10. And see how this looks. It looks a little messy, but might need to be a little darker on my. So I'm going to go to two. And I'm going to go a little bit darker over here. Okay, that looks a little better, but it looks a little soft. Let's make it harder. How's your guys' pumpkin coming? So, and, and maybe this isn't the correct brush to use for this kind of pumpkin because it's not too, it's too it, uh, brush is not formed properly for some reason. I'm just undoing here because I'm trying to get this curve and I'm not really being successful at it. So let's see what we got here. Hey, it looks still a little messy, but we can clean it up. By just going, by clicking our brush, going back, and really um, bringing in more of this orange. So we're going to go maybe a little bit more darker and really bring in that orange color. So we're going to layer that on top and just hide those layers and really try to let's see if we can make this mid-tone look a little bit more fresh and really get those oranges to come through really nicely that's me Okay, let's see what we got here. See if we did too much. Okay, that's starting to look a little bit better. Let's fix this one right here. So what I'm doing is I, I switch the eraser and I'm gonna fix this um this um brush right here. I'm gonna increase the size a little bit. I'm just gonna fix that when that was bothering me. Um, that's looking a little bit better. See how we have like our shadows here. But this area over here is kind of messy, so I'm gonna go in and clean that up with my eraser. Doesn't have to be perfect, but I'm kind of a perfectionist and I like to like go in and clean things up a little bit. That looks pretty dang good. Yeah, Maybe all I could might need music. is a little It looks like it was made by me, so that's what matters. So maybe go in with a harder brush. Maybe, maybe we might need to get something even brighter. So this is like where I go and start lightening up things. Because if we look at our pumpkin here, it's pretty bright there. So it might need just some white, which it's okay to do. Let's add some white. And 
and we can go in and really start to dance around here. And the white will ultimately pick up. It might need to be a little bit lighter, like maybe a 5% white. Really go in there and get the extra, like, slight details. Really yeah. make the brush kind of smaller so I can really paint in those highlights a little bit better. So it really oh. starts to form so, that so pumpkin y shape. We're going to need this. So we need some See our layers. We're going to find, we're going to look for a key. Um, so I want to get keyword. that a little bit brighter there. And maybe even a bit more orange. So, Oh, wait, let's look at the questions first. I'm 